Hey there fashionistas, welcome to a new installation of 5 to 15 minutes of fashion with yours truly, Nina Johnson. Coming at you from this white void today because I received some DMs about how I do my updos and it's so easy, it would just literally be shady if I don't show you. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. This is not my typical setup. My typical setup is all about fashion and all things fashionable. Trust me, you're gonna love it here, so hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And if this isn't your first time here, congrats to you on making bad life choices and joining me so we can talk about all the gloriously fashionable, well, quite unnecessary things that we could spend spend our hard earned money on. So as I said today, you are not going to be triggered to purchase anything incredibly expensive or any new clothes or anything you're going to have to hide from your husband because today is about my fun updos. So and they're super, super simple. It's not going to take long. I mean, it might. It's me. We may end up just jumping down some random rabbit hole. I'm going to try to um, not do that though. That's my goal. So jumping right in, it's a look I did a couple videos back with just two little swirls in the front and a puff at the top. You guys, it's super easy. It's so easy. Like I'm embarrassed to like even show you how easy it is. So um, I start with just kind of combing it all back neatly. A little fine tooth comb here. And I have a mirror here, so I may have to cheat. Just kind of take out what I think would be an appropriate amount of swish. Sometimes I end up with too much and I just put it back in later. It's no science here, people. So I don't know if you're able to see what I got going on here. So these are gonna be my two like swishes in the front. Try to keep them pretty even. There's literally no method to the madness here. Then I take this part and do a sexy little, little twist. I don't know what you call them in your house, but we call them little doo-doo curls. Little doo-doo roll here. Or Diddy Bop, we call them Diddy Bops too. Um, and I'm just gonna clamp it away. So sexy, you guys are so jealous of how hot I am right now. <laughs> um, and then I take the rest and pull it up. Ooh, sorry, hair brush down. And just brush it all up into the highest pony I can get it in. Oh God, this is really bad, like cinematography right now. I didn't know. Well, I guess I did know. I don't know. We're here now and we're doing this. So there's no going back, right? We're doing this. So then you take your elastic. You guys, we're almost done with this one too. Like it's just sad at how easy this is. Take your elastic and secure a ponytail. Very simple. And then I just kind of wrap this ponytail around while I neaten up these guys. And so what I do to neaten up those guys is just kind of brush them up, take the straightener, get back here with the frizzy ones and just kind of smooth them out. Push all that up. I'm not gonna spray it too hard because normally I would like spray it not to move. Um, but this is not my permanent hair. <laughs> so my permanent hair. I'm gonna go, this is so sexy. If you just stopped right here, I would be like Mrs. Still Your Man, like Mr. Still Your Girl. Okay, this is bad. So for this hair spray, typically I use Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play for like my waves, my beach waves. But for this one, I'm gonna do a little spray and stay because I want it to stay. That's what I typically do. So just a little bit on the back to get the wispies to stay up. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna commit, you guys, because I wanna like comb my hair down and this stuff don't play. Like it will lock it down like concrete. It won't move. Well, big sexy hair, spray and stay. So then the next thing I do is tease this mop. I take it and I just kind of back comb it. I like to use a little before I tease it, just to give it a little bit of volume because my hair's not incredibly thick. I use a little weatherproof on it just to start getting it ready to, I don't know, maybe it adds just a little bit of build up to it just so it kind of stays in place with less hairspray. So now I'm going to go in and just give it a little back comb. It's so simple. I mean, I don't have a lot of time in life to devote to myself. There's literally no method to this madness. It's just like, feel like Tina Turner and back comb it. Right? That's what you just gotta find. Oh, okay. Alrighty, now, this hairspray kind of smells like this stuff. I don't know if you guys remember exclamation point. It was like my first perfume and I thought it was like so fierce and just tough stuff when my mom bought it for me. So you give a little smooth to the top. 
just the top portion. And then you wanna grab your hairpins. I like this little like jar of them or case box. Um, I don't typically like the ones you have to like take off the paper because like when I'm going, I just wanna get it and keep moving. So I just take it and start to wrap it around itself and try to get the smoothest pieces on top but not brush out too much of the tees because I want a good top knot. And then I start the hairpin. See how easy it is? I mean, like I'm almost embarrassed to show you that it's zero work. And you're like, oh, your hair's so cute. And I'm like, yeah, I did nothing. Literally did nothing. Okay. Sorry if me looking off is a weird experience for you, but I couldn't figure out how to get this set up today. Just wanted to show you. Okay, and then take this last little guy, tuck him away in here. Normally, I, you probably see like little frizzy flyaways. You've got a cockatoo happening back there. That normally wouldn't be happening because I would take more time spraying, but I don't want it to stay like this. So this is a hairstyle I typically do when my hair is just dirty and I'm just, well, this isn't the best bun action. But if that happened in real life, I would just take it and pin it. And I would not redo it because I ain't about that life either. So here we go. Literally, it's nothing. Like, a literal nothing burger for this bun. For this messy bun. I mean, it's not my best work. I can hardly see. But I think you get the idea, right? Do you not get the idea? Okay, now this little guy in the front. Gonna take him out. We've already got a little bit of some shape going, but I'm gonna help it the rest of the way with a curling wand. I don't use an actual wand wand. I don't know how people do that without like burning, giving themselves third degree burns. Like, it's not for me, I can't do it. Okie dokie. Okay. It's so simple. I'm like embarrassed about how simple it is. I'm like, you guys think I actually do something. I mean, I don't do anything with myself. I'm just kind of keep my curling iron straight up and just tap it all the way down because I don't want like a really structured curl. I want it to look like I didn't try. I mean, this is one where I really kind of don't try, so. And then I'll just let it set for just a little bit. I would typically neaten up my bun while I let that set for just a hair. Oh my gosh, this isn't bad though. All right, and then I take these guys and just kind of finger through it. And I do think I may have gotten a little bit too much hair out, which I'm happy I did on accident. Like I think it's too much hair out. Looks kind of weird. So I just go for the back and swoop it around and pin it when I get too much hair out in the front. No big D. That looks more appropriate. Got too much hair here. Maybe it didn't do as bad on this side. Just take it, wrap it around. Put a hairpin in it. I mean, I can't really see if this is as neat as it feels. What I also like to do too is sometimes if it gets too, um, like just, I feel like it's just doesn't have any lift from the root right here. Just give it a little lift from the root. Well, it always helps it give it a little bit more life. You guys, that's the look. This is it. I mean, what did that take me? Like less than 10 minutes, but it's cute and it looks like I tried. And we all know I didn't. I mean, I barely did anything. I'm not sure if I'm happy with this curl, but just get back in there and do it again. Let's see, do I like it better now? I do. And just kind of finger it apart so it looks like again we just rolled out of bed like this i woke up like this after 45 minutes of makeup you know what i'm saying so that's it this is up to one what do we think i mean i think it's a look so i stopped take and started taking this down and i just wanted to show you how easy it is to kind of brush all this out for those who saw the back home and were like all of her hair is gonna fall out it really is it i really don't lose that much hair i mean don't do it often but it's not terrible okay to 
to get it out. Just use your paddle brush and don't be too mean to your hair. And then it all comes out. So I think one of my first tips for my beach waves is that my hair is not very clean. Um, I feel like it's kind of got to be in the sweet spot though. Like if it's super, super not clean and full of product or oils, um, your waves won't separate and that looks strange. So I'm looking for my products. Where's my comb? So you want like your hair to be a little bit, uh, on the dirty side. And if it's like really clean hair, then again, get some of this weatherproof. I like it just because it extends my blowout. You could use weatherproof, you could use dry shampoo, anything. It just kind of like gives your hair a little bit more volume, helps it separate so the waves separate. Again, this stuff smells like exclamation point. So much like it. Okay, there's step one. Just gonna give it a little brush to detangle. And then we're gonna get started. I've done one of these videos before, but um, I think some people like these more than fashion. So I figured I'd put up another one of me just doing some beach waves. Step one, you wanna just start sectioning off your hair. So I just kinda do it in little quads. Put it in quads and work my way around. About an inch. And I take my curling iron and I'm still not sure what this is. Is it like a fourth of an inch, half of an inch? It's a small barrel. You Even if you have lots of hair, like you want to go with the small barrel because the curl's going to fall. So whatever you would typically use, like if you're a one inch girl, go half inch. If you would go an inch and a half, go an inch. Go down in size for this part. And you just want to start at like the top towards mid. Keep the curling iron up and down. And you want to keep twisting the curling on as you tap down. That's like, ooh, big sexy hair down. Um, so, again, grab about another inch section. There really isn't a science to this. So you kind of start here, turn, tap it down. Tap, 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 and keep turning as you tap. The real trick to this though is not to pick the curls apart until they've had time to cool. Like that's my problem. I have zero chill and I just want to pick them apart because I hate them looking like a little doo-doo curl and I just want to pick them apart, but it's not good for long term. So do not pick the curls apart, whatever you do. What I didn't mention that I should have mentioned is you want to curl away from your face on both sides. That's probably too big of a section. <laughs> so I'll hold the curling. If you do that, just hold the heat in a little bit longer. Well, that's no bueno. So, but don't pick them apart. Again here, looks like I missed some pieces. Not a big deal if you miss pieces. I feel like some straighter pieces in there just makes it look more like beach waves, less like Shirley Temple curls. Whew. I have to drop this curling iron on my leg. That would not be a good day. Then I'm gonna give it a spray with my, this is spray and stay. I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use my spray and play and I'm gonna get it with my foot. Also, I'm sitting on it. Ow, it's hurting my vagine. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna give it a little spritz with the spray and play. I'm not gonna touch it. Like this is restraint because I just wanna like pick them apart so bad. All right, finishing up on the last section. I'm gonna curl these sections and then get my straightener on. 
for just lifting my hair up from the crown for your beach waves just to look natural and having your hair not look like it's stuck to your head and like the curl just like kind of just like you don't want the curl to just be like coming from here and just happening like you wanted to have a little bit of lift and so after I finish curling I'm gonna show you how I get my lift with my straightener so it looks a little I don't know more beach wavy more bed heady less like you went to the salon on Sunday morning and got a press and curl you know what I'm saying that's not the look we're going for well not Sunday morning Saturday night on Easter Sunday like you don't need Easter Sunday press and curl vibes Okay, and now if I can just chill, like ugh, just have some chill on this side and spray it and don't touch it. You know, spray it, don't touch it. I feel like Rick James. So I'm gonna start with this side first, just start kind of picking it apart a little bit. It's so much better when you don't like get after it all willy nilly kind of finger it apart and if there's some pieces that are just too uniform like I feel like I curled two pieces right next to each other like really uniform and it looks like less of a, a wave just go in and curl a couple other pieces again don't touch them oh, story of my life try not to pick apart curls can't do it just can't do it so hard but I think I'm happy with it and the trick is to you don't want it to look too too neat like you picked at it for too long because you want it to look like a beach wave and more of a relaxed look okay you guys i really like need to not screw with this side but i mean just for the sake of the video being over i want to show you how i lift it from the root so i mean i probably should let this side sit just a little bit longer but i'm going in i'm going in this piece could probably be curled a little bit more towards the bottom okay then got that spray and stay action happening all right gang i mean it's kind of messy and that's the kind of vibe you want i could probably curl these pieces a little bit more though i think you want it to be less uniform throughout because wavy hair is not each curl isn't completely uniform and I got some under here that could do good pick apart need some pick apart action okay so now I'm gonna like lift the root and then we're done so I go in with my finger and just grab a little bit off the top and take my straightener and just kind of pick it up and then I'll grab here and just kind of I don't know if you can tell but it just kind of like makes I don't know Maybe it's all in my head. Maybe it doesn't do a thing, but I definitely feel like it like lifts it like right off the crown of my hair. Oh, that side's better. So it just doesn't look like it's just like glued to my head. And on occasion, I get too crazy with the straightener and take some of the curl out and just got to go back in. Kind of got overzealous right there. I'll just go ahead and define the front of this again. This side is always the side that gives me the problems. I don't know why. There's always a side, right, ladies? Okay, well, beach waves. Check and check. That's it. And then once it's picked apart, I just give it a final little spray of the play and stay. Just so they, because they're not a, 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 like a tight curl, like it will fall over time. And so if you're doing your beach waves at home and you've got a little bit of time to hang out, do a tighter curl before you hit the road. That's it. All right, you guys, that was a super random five to 15 minutes of fashion. Thank you so much for joining me. In the meantime, in between time, hug each other, love each other. I'll see you next time on a new installation of five to 15 minutes of fashion and stay fashionable dolls.